Well, that was, you know, that way, A, the, 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 um, uh, the writer Gene Hong has an older brother that, uh, you know, like all older brothers, he has a long relationship with, so I'm sure he drew on some stuff there. Uh, but the biggest thing was just getting lucky uh, enough to find somebody like David that, you know, that, that, you know, for whatever reason, our chemistry lent us to just feeling like brothers. You know, we just have that dynamic together, and that's not something you can, you can well, it is something you can fake, but we didn't have to fake it. Uh, because uh, you seem very different from the character, so you had to work a lot, I'm assuming. Right, you don't go. Oh, fuck the, fuck, well, his his fuck character is basically Jeremy <laughs> with six cocktails, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. my character is me. You know, if I've uh, taken some sort of hardcore anxiety medicine, or something. <laughs> 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 basically that's all. Yeah, it's just an element of our personalities. But we felt comfortable around each other yeah. to, to to not to be able to do do all that. You know what I mean? And for me, I love I loved being able to be insulting and. and and that was really cool, really realistic. Are you yeah. a little like that? Can we do the interview like on that? On six cocktails. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I just I get super stressed. I'll yeah. think of things to say, but I can't actually say them yeah. because I'll feel bad. And yeah. but get a few. Uh, He's got a wife tequilas. and kids now. You know, there's it's just more. It's more than just about him. So. Yeah, yeah, but still, even when I was younger, I still had to drink in order to be oh, that yeah. guy. I wish I was just that guy all the time. You know what? I think you should love who you are. <laughs> Don't start with your. You know your. Self easy, yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah, he's yeah. We're gonna do a meditation. Meditation, right like, yeah, <laughs> new age. <laughs> no, like really. And then uh, tennis <laughs> plays. Uh, tennis plays a great role bringing the brothers together. Yeah. I would like to know if you had any relationship with the sport because it looks very realistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it was all stunts and you were like sitting there having <laughs> your drinks. No, I'm kidding. It was all us. You know, I busted my butt for. You know, it took us took me about four or five years to get the movie made. And so throughout that time, I really I busted my butt for hours and hours, and uh, I mean, uh, on the court. Uh, but uh, fortunately, because David came on last moment, uh, he had had a long history with tennis. David? Yes, well, I played tennis since I was three. I took a break, but I love tennis. And so uh, I think that's why the movie works so well. Part of it, any sports movie where it's clear the actors don't play the sport or the sport isn't that good, it just takes you out of the reality. And in this one, Everything's real. There's no CGI in anything. All the tennis is real. We're playing really good players. We're having great points, and so I think that, that realism really helps it. it. It feels really realistic. Yeah. And I think the kid who's following Mrs. Mr. Price is very funny, but in a way he symbolizes the loneliness that we could all felt when we were kids, no? A, yeah. A little, yeah, it does. A, but, in, but in a way, he, um, he, he, he's a positive take on it. He's a kid that, yes, is suffering sort of a difficult home life and is probably an outsider at school, but that doesn't stop him from being who he is who he and is being proud of who he is. is. Yeah. And uh, why should we see Breakpoint, considering that there are so many movies on that? Give us a pitch for Screen Slam. It's a really unique movie. You know, there's not a lot of movies out there like this right now, and, uh, you know, it's... It's a movie that I think you're going to enjoy. We went to pains to make sure it was funny, and uh, but we never let that comedy sort of uh, rise above the, the the story of these real people going through real human things. Yeah, and if you if you like sports movies, which I do, this is I, I really think it's the best sports movie in a long time, and it's certainly the best tennis movie ever. But our competition's only about two other movies. So. And even if you don't know tennis, though, it's yeah. something that you can relate to because yeah. there's a story there that's, that's much more fundamental in, in uh, human beings' lives.